Introducing you first, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with green trim, fighting out of Moreno Valley by way of Oxnard, California. He weighed in at 134 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with an outstanding record of 35 wins, no losses, 29 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ranked the WBC number two lightweight world contender. Here is the former WBO featherweight and junior lightweight champion of the world. Introducing the undefeated challenger, Mikey Garcia. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion fighting out of the blue corner on my left. He is wearing red trunks with gold trim. Haley from Podgorica, Montenegro. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 134 and one half pounds. He also is undefeated. His record stands at 18 wins, no losses, 11 wins coming by way of knockout tonight. Making the first defense of his title, please welcome Montenegro's first and only world champion, the newly crowned and undefeated WBC lightweight champion of the world, introducing Dehan Dynamite Chani. Free in charge once again now to give instructions. We have Tony Weeks. Okay, gentlemen, you both receive your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, right here is good, aim the right low. Right here is good, aim that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Okay. And we haven't even gone through nothing. And a straight left that misses, but Garcia finding the end. Coming in, counter puncher when he needs to be. So he's going to throw a right hook, but he's got air and reach advantage. He's clear him, Graham Barton. Round one. Nice jab, but Paul Bass with his jab facing fundamentals. Perhaps not. Might be using his distance extremely well on his levels as the corner. Jose Benavides was in shock and turn, and now we're going to teach that is the brilliance and the intelligence of Michael Garcia, and now he continues to go after it. 60 seconds removed in round two. Michael continues to use his job. And a left hook to the body, and Satijin pounds away at his... In order for him to get on the inside, he's got to start jabbing him. This thing, Michael Garcia doesn't make many mistakes. Under middle... So it's the teaching, it would be wise for him to throw up. Happy and content to stay on the outside. And overhand match that connected, but can be chip of the world. Actually up around 4 in the morning. Yes. And he's not throwing anything. That's not going to serve him a stretch of the imagination. Oh, that missed. Some work and, and really a teaching, and he's got to find a way to press Mikey. That gets and an upper top. Oh, it's the teaching is hurt. The right hook puts him down. This one is over. Oh, my goodness. Mikey Garcia has become a three division world champion. Now, this is actually, we hope that's the teaching, and he's being brought in. Jubilation on Mikey Garcia. That is a way to make a statement, but Satijanin is still, he's breathing now, but the doctors are checking on him. Mikey Garcia. Oh my goodness. There's a reason why there was so much excitement. There's a reason why there was this, this hope that Mikey would return to the sport of boxing and continue.
continue to rise and be the superstar that everyone felt he could be. Well, look at tonight, January 28th, 2017. He was a star, but old oh man, Mikey Garcia is without question a superstar. And now Deon Satijanin is been he is being administered oxygen by the doctors with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. That was a vicious knockout. 36 and 0, 30 knockouts. Green Division World Champion. He would join the ranks of Floyd Mayweather, Chavez, Alexis Arguello, as putting the WBC Lightweight Championship around his waist. Commission! Commission! Hey, bro. Los guantes, ¿los nos vamos a quedar o ustedes? Nosotros. That's right. He asked Mauricio Suleiman, the president of the WBC, and now it's Latijanin. They take off the oxygen mask, and it looks like to be responding well to the ringside positions here. This is something you do not want to see, but every precaution is being taken care of, and the Nevada State Athletic Commission, one of the best missions in the world, and now Latijanin will come up and the fans cheer him. He's a warrior, he's a gladiator. And he just got caught in devastating fashion against Mikey Garcia. Now he rises to a skill that, that's a wonderful sign, and you know that he's probably physically disappointed. Tom Bennett, the director of the United States Athletic Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 21 seconds in round number 3. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. He is now a three-weight division world champion and the new WWE